In this video presentation, I'm going to show you how to use the custom report designer to create your own report templates within Logbook Pro. Presently, the standard reports, the recommended or preferred reports, the split report series, then you have your larger binder format or your smaller binder format, Premier Old World Support series, and then we can create a report by clicking the flight log report option. However, if you want to customize your report template to show a specific column, for example, in this uh, demonstration, I've created a night vision goggle uh, column and a safety column. These are time fields, in other words, flight time uh, tracking. So uh, we want to add these two columns to a report and generate a report. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to click Reports, Flight Log, the Split Report Series, choose your binder format, and then we're a little off screen to the right, so you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to go into Custom Templates, and I'm going to click the menu option at the top, which is Create slash Edit Custom Templates. And this is our report designer. I'm going to hide the left sidebar to go full screen. We're going to create a new report template. I'm going to call it Demo. So you can see up here is the name of the report template that uh, we're going to create. On the left side of the screen, we have a little properties window. And um, based on which column you have selected, we either have the group header or the column header uh, information. Uh, so let's uh, select another column here. And we can see that we have the group header is year, the column header, aircraft ident, the column header, aircraft make and model. And so as you see, I as I select different columns, the properties panel on the left changes to reflect the selected column. Now if the data field is blank, it's going to use the default data field that uh, this report template is designed to use. For example, we're going to have date information, aircraft make and model information, aircraft ident. That information is automatically going to get populated for you if it's left blank. So leave, leave the columns alone that uh, you don't need to be messing with. Um, only the columns you want to change. Um, we can change the header font, uh, font name and, and size. We can also change the row height of the report. As you know that uh, typical reports have 19 or 21 rows per page depending on the binder format. Now you can use this row height to either allow more remarks to show in the remarks column. So we can increase the row height which will give you less rows per page, but obviously a taller row will show more remarks. You can also use this to reduce the number or increase the number of rows per page if you're trying to do a one-to-one -one audit against a paper logbook. So you can either use row height or you can change the page margins, the top margin and bottom margin. If you increase those margins, you give left, less room for rows to be uh, presented. So that's an alternate way of changing the number of rows per page, either changing the row height or the page margin, top and bottom margin. Well, let's get back into the report template. Common questions are, can I remove a column or can I change the size of a column, etc.? Can I add a column? The answer to all three of those are no. We cannot change the size of these columns. We cannot delete these columns. And um, we can't insert new columns. What you can do is take existing columns and repurpose them. So maybe you don't fly a glider. So we're going to pick this column to uh, change this to be our NVG time. So I'm going to type NVG, press enter, and you can see now that the column caption has changed to night vision goggles or NVG. Now if I wanted this to be a multi-row, um, then I press shift plus enter. And you can see the instructions down at the bottom of the property depending on where you're making a change. Use shift plus enter for hard breaks or hard returns. So I'm going to go shift plus enter, line two. And you can see over here how we have NVG on the first line, line two on the second line. So you shift plus enter to change those rows. So we've, or that, or add, add multiple rows in a caption. So we've changed the column header now. The next thing we need to do is change what data is going to appear in this column. So we need to target the data to be our user defined custom time field NVG. And that's all there is to it. So now we've created a column. 
we've repurposed our glider column to show NVG time. Well, we also have our safety pilot, so let's repurpose this column. I'm not a helicopter pilot, so I'm going to re replace the helicopter time for safety pilot time. And then we have to change the data field that's going to be used for this column to be safety pilot. So we'll review. We have MEG with the data field of MEG, our safety pilot column caption for safety, and then I'm going to click save. And that's all there is to creating a custom report template to show columns that uh, you want. Let's make this all caps just to be like the others. All right, so let's save this and now let's run it and we can show the uh, changes. So I'm going to, now again, I'm off the screen here, but when you go to the series that we just created a custom template for, you're going to see a list of the available custom templates. So I'm going to show view demo. Remember, I named this template demo. So I'm going to click view demo. And now we're going to get a split report series report. We'll let it do all data. This is a large file, so we're going to let it complete. And now you can see our safety pilot column and our NVG pilot column. And it is showing those totals. So I'm going to go to the very end. And we can see that we also have the cumulative totals at the bottom. And uh, there you have it. So in just a few minutes here, I've explained to you how to create a custom report template and how to repurpose columns, changing the column headers, and uh, retargeting the data fields to show your custom time fields. And uh, it's quite simple. Please refer to the documentation either by clicking Help and Contents to view within Logbook Pro or go to help.logbookpro.com to view the documentation online for more details on how to customize and uh, get more out of the reports within Logbook Pro. Thanks for watching.